beautiful weather so far. Just hope it keeps up. That'll predict some good dry, cooler weather in the next couple of days. Of course, yeah, I think Rick heard this morning that uh, Thursday is going to be cool off a little bit, so that'll work out good. Yeah. We're flirting with that hurricane thing, though. I don't know. That's going to be interesting. Well, we're out on Route 495. Uh, we're on our way to Bar Harbor, the second day in our trip. And uh, it's been pretty nice. A little foggy this morning. Had a good run. A lot of traffic. There's the three ways to get there, and hopefully we'll have a little bit of time to get on some back roads. Oh, they're both doing it now. Okay. <laughs> okay, all right. I'm coming. Hey, Fred. How are you doing, Morris? Hey, I'm getting filling out this form. <laughs> this thing here is going to take us half the trip over there. Yeah, they yeah, won't let me use your pencil. Oh, I'll no. Be stuck here. Here. <laughs> here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh <God. laughs> get a shot of the outside there, though. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, you can't get outside. The boat goes too fast. Big cafe in here, like a. Boat's rocking, man. Oh, man. <laughs> Holy smokes. Man, we're really moving, too. <laughs> well, we're in the cafeteria. We should move. <laughs> yeah, back there's the uh, air left. Why don't they put bags on the back of these chairs? <laughs>
All day cruise passengers should be aware that the clubs in Nova Scotia are one hour ahead of those in Star Harbor. We recommend that passengers return to the vessel approximately 20 minutes prior to departure. Thank you. right here, huh? This ramp. Looks like now. Yeah. Well, these air windmills, um, big 200 foot diameter spread. There's another one. Right there. And also, a lighthouse. We're on the lighthouse tour road, Route 3 east, going into Halifax. So, you can see the magnitude of this thing, it's just gigantic. Yeah. There's the sound. Out there somewhere. The sea mist blowing in from the ocean. Got really cold. Yeah, we stopped at a McDonald's. Uh, we're still on a lighthouse tour. They have a, a, I think it's called a Royal Burger here, which is the quarter pounder, because since it's metric. Let's see what it says on the menu. Oh, there it is. We're uh, at Peggy's Cove today. This is a, a little stop of parking lot, visitor center. And let's get some shots of the ocean hitting the rocks.
comes Dad and Morris. We're gonna take a walk down this path. Hey! Those <laughs> are motorcycles. Peggy's coat. Cove Motel. Uh, tomorrow they're predicting rain, so let me take some pictures while the sky is clear. See the star feature? Oh, how are we doing? I don't know if we're good eating or not. <laughs> <laughs>
Well, we're on the Cabot Trail today. It started out kind of rainy, but uh, we're weathering the, the rain and going anyway. And we're at the top of this hill. Cool. It's really high. Narration the rocks. Well, yes. Tell us about the rocks. Well, I don't know anything about rocks, Rick. Oh, you are you sure? Hard as my head. Make so. something up. <laughs> Make something up. <laughs> <laughs> we just noticed that they were a very unusual formation. Aha. Uh -huh. That is kind of unusual. Okay, we're in Truro. It's uh, the 7th, August 7th. And um, we're right next to a place where the uh, tide bore comes in. And as you see, there's people standing over there, and that's right along where the tidal bore will come through. There's a big, long river here that feeds into the ocean. But, uh, we just got done eating over there. Nice little restaurant. Had some really good seafood chowder. And we're staying right here in this here little room seven. Nice, quaint little place, but uh, looks like we're going to go weather the storm again. It looks like the dark clouds are dissipating, and we're going to head down to Maitland. From Truro to Maitland. Waiting for the boar uh, here. The slush in your house after. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to help a guy in uh, Slidell. Should be coming yeah. from this direction. Yeah, that floated out. Okay, I can see it just now coming in little ripples out here. It's coming pretty slow though. Well, it's still pretty far away yet, but it's getting a little rougher. It's uh, cutting loose here, pretty close to us now. That rock just disappeared. Those rocks just disappeared. There's a whirlpool right here. I can look. I can look over. Oh, you can see. That's a big whirlpool. I'm sure people have a rough time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Do you think that'll come down for us? I have no idea. I can see it moving. 
Still a pretty decent whirlpool. Yeah, I got a few on that one now. Got a nice big zoom lens on that one. I've got a lens like that up the car. Here comes the boat. Hey. Get your bird ready. <laughs> Oh my gosh. They raft these guys. This family next to me has got their son in this one. Look at all of them down there. Uh, they must just come up to a certain point. Once you come up there, we're going back and forth. Getting birdies good up from there. Yeah. Yeah, somebody's out of the boat. Is that what it is? Yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. I just uh, came across this nine mile bridge onto Prince Edward Island and this is their welcome center. It's like a great big gift shop and uh thought we would spend a couple a couple minutes here. So I can find dad. He wanted to go in and get a sample of fudge. <laughs> Two pound sample. Peanut butter fudge. <laughs> Here's all the bikes. Here's a covered bridge. It's uh, let's see, um, it's on the way to. We're still in Maine. It was just a pull off of Route Two, and um, we're on our way to Gorham, and we're probably gonna end up staying overnight in Gorham somewhere. There's uh, Morris. There's our bikes. Yeah, you can't drive over it, but it's pretty cool. It's a nice setting.